everyone. Welcome back to day six of learning English. Day six. Today is day six, and today we are going to target pronunciation. As you know, pronunciation is very important when it comes to speaking fluent English. If your pronunciation is not correct, your English will not sound fluent. However much you are practicing, whatever you are trying to do, whatever techniques you are trying, you need to focus on your pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of the most important aspect of speaking. When we talk about speaking a language, pronunciation is really important. And today we are going to target pronunciation in this lesson. And we are going to look at the pronunciation of the difficult words that are going to come in the lesson, in the chapter today. Today, the reading part will be less because we are going to focus more on pronunciation. So I am just going to read two pages to you and I am going to take as many words from those two pages as I can. I will take difficult words, common words that are sometimes mispronounced. We are going to look at everything in details. Are you ready? You need to listen carefully when I am reading you the story because that's what is going to help you in your pronunciation exercise on, or the activity that I'm going to do after reading. Whatever I'm going to teach you regarding pronunciation, it is important for you to listen to the story. It will also improve your listening skills. I am your CELTA certified English language tutor Shivangi Gupta and you're watching English with Shivangi Gupta. So let's begin today's class, lesson number six. Today, we will be continuing with the previous chapter. There were some paragraphs left and I'm going to continue reading them. Now listen carefully. As a recapitulation of what we have done till now in the story, the main character is on a strange boat, a strange ship, submarine kind of boat. And the captain is weird. The captain is... Uh, we cannot decide if he's a friend or an enemy. And this chapter was all about that particular captain of the ship. Now let's move forward with the story. The word Nemo in Latin means no man or nobody. It seemed to be the most suitable name for the mysterious captain. Captain Nemo then smiled at us and said, Monsieur Aronnax, I invite you to have lunch with me. Meanwhile, Mr. Ned and Monsieur Consul will be taken to their cabins and they will be served food in their cabins. He told me to follow him and I did so. I was very excited. We passed a narrow passage. It was well illuminated. At the end of the passage, we came to a door that opened into a big dining room. It was furnished with expensive furniture and decoratives. There was an exquisite collection of china, silver and glassware. Everything was well arranged. We took our seats on the table where a great variety of food had been served. Captain Nemo told me that all the variety of food was from the sea. He had given up eating anything that was found on land. Soon you will also begin to nourish the seafood. It is as healthy and tasty as anything found on your land. Not only the food, but also our clothes are provided to us by the sea. The clothes that we are wearing are made from the silk provided by a very special kind of oyster. The bed on which you slept is made up of eel grass, which is found inside the sea. The pen is made up of a whale bone. Then there is a kind of squid that provides us with ink. The captain's enthusiasm enhanced my excitement. I realized how much the man loved the sea. I said to him, Captain, your love for the sea is really great. The captain smiled and said, Yes, I love the sea more than anything. A man can be free in its true sense only below the surface of the sea. I could not understand what he meant by the word free. I kept on wondering about it. 
So that's the end of the reading part for today. The reading part was short because we are going to take up lots and lots of words in order to practice our pronunciation. So are you ready to practice pronunciation? I'm going to pick up some difficult words, commonly mispronounced words, and we are going to check in detail the pronunciation. I'm going to show you, demonstrate you how you can pronounce it. And I suggest that you repeat after me. When you repeat after me, you will be able to practice your pronunciation. That is a kind of shadowing exercise that we are doing. You'll shadow me. That is important in order to enhance your pronunciation. Just not listening to it is important, but also repeating after me is important. So repeat after me every time. I'm going to repeat it three times. I'm going to do one, two, three. For example, shadow, shadow, shadow. And then you have to repeat after me three times. One, two, three. I hope you all understood this. Now, let's begin. Let's begin with the difficult words. So the first word is this on your screens. It's suitable. Suitable. Now, can you recognize the syllables? Suitable. It has three syllables. And the stress is on the first one, right? The first syllable. So it's suitable. Suitable. Repeat after me. Suitable. 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 Excellent. Suitable name. Repeat. Suitable name. It's a suitable name. Excellent. Now the next word. It's this. On the screen. It's mysterious. Mysterious. Miss T re us so it has four syllables miss t re us and the test is on the second syllable so it's mysterious mysterious repeat after me mysterious 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 excellent mysterious events Mysterious events. Mysterious events. Lovely. You all sounded lovely. I'm sure about it. The next word. So next word is a very special word that is this. Can you see? Now this is not an English word. It is a French word and it's equivalent to Mr. in English. So either it means Mr. or Sir in French. And it is pronounced as Mazia. Mazia. So Mazia. Only two syllables. Mazia. Mazia. The stress is on the second syllable. So it's Mazia. Mazia. Excellent. Excellent. You sounded lovely. Next word. Next word. It is Passage. 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 Now, this word, it might seem that there are so many syllables in this word, but actually there are just two syllables. Passage. Passage. And the stress is on, can you recognize? Passage. Passage. It's on the first syllable, right? So the first syllable is stressed. Passage. Repeat after me. Passage. Passage. A narrow passage. Repeat. A narrow passage. A narrow passage. Excellent. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Next word is this one. Now this is pronounced as expensive. Expensive. So there are how many syllables? Three syllables. Yes, if you said three, then that's correct. Expensive. 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 And where is the stress? The second syllable. So there are three syllables. Stress is here on the second syllable. So it's expensive. Repeat after me. Expensive. 
and can you notice that this is not expensive it is expensive expensive the sound is of e e here a short e expensive repeat after me expensive 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 clothes expensive jewelry expensive shoes excellent that was lovely lovely now the next one is this furniture furniture now again there are three syllables in this word furniture 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 now where is the stress furniture so the stress is on the first syllable three syllables and the stress is on the first one furniture repeat after me furniture wooden furniture wooden furniture wooden furniture excellent that was lovely excellent now next word is this well it means something that is really beautiful gorgeous or of very high quality something that is special and it is pronounced as exquisite exquisite now recognize the syllables pronunciation is a bit tricky for this word exquisite 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 there are three syllables exquisite exquisite and when we say it together it's exquisite exquisite and the stress is on the second syllable here now repeat after me exquisite 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 excellent lovely lovely now let's move on okay the next one is variety variety this word is pronounced as variety now recognize the syllables this is a tricky one this word is really tricky we use it a lot in our conversations variety v ra ya t now can you recognize yes it has four syllables variety and the stress is on the second syllable so stress is here right here on the second syllable so it's variety variety repeat after me variety 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 of foods variety of foods variety of foods excellent excellent absolutely lovely so whenever i raise my finger that is the stress i'm trying to show you the stress with my voice whenever we are stressing we raise our voice and hence i raise my finger in order to show you demonstrate you how my voice is working listen and see it once again in order to understand variety variety now do you understand so you can look for my finger when you're not able to understand where is the stress it will help you a lot in understanding the pronunciation of the word now moving on forward the next is this one it looks difficult but the pronunciation is actually simple that's why it is mispronounced this is pronounced as nourish 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 only two syllables and the stress is on the first one nourish 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 repeat after me i hope that you're repeating every time nourish 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 excellent lovely next word is this well this is the name of a sea creature that you find often between seashells and that is it is pronounced as oyster oyster now listen carefully there is not ye oyster no it's oyster it's a e sound e sound a little e oyster oyster 
and the stress is on the first syllable there are just two syllables stress is on the first one oyster 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 repeat oyster excellent lovely lovely now again this is again a name of an animal the word that you can see squid squid how many syllables only one syllable squid and when it's one syllable the whole word is stressed squid squid repeat after me squid squid a large squid a large squid excellent lovely lovely now a difficult word to pronounce that is this one it's a very common word we use it a lot and listen carefully this is a tricky one enthusiasm enthusiasm now the syllables can be tricky to recognize listen very carefully i'm going to break them down for you enthusiasm 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 there are total five syllables in this word so five syllables that means lots of syllables five syllables and the stress is on enthusiasm enthusiasm well the stress is on the second one second one two enthusiasm enthusiasm come on repeat after me enthusiasm 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 excellent lovely 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 now only two words are left so the second last word is this a word similar in meaning to enthusiasm so enthusiasm excitement they are treated as synonyms enthusiasm is greater in degree so enthusiasm is one degree greater excitement is lower enthusiasm is the advanced version now this word is pronounced as excitement excitement not excitement no excitement there are how many syllables excitement three syllables and the stress is on the second syllable excitement 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 repeat after me excitement she can't control her excitement she can't control her excitement excitement excellent lovely lovely and the last word for today is this one so this is like this is the surface it's the meaning is this any flat thing any thing that you can touch that's surface listen carefully surface surface now there are two pronunciation in british pronunciation you can say sir fis i sound surface and in american pronunciation you can say surface whatever is comfortable you can choose that it's up to you repeat after me surface 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 excellent can you recognize the stress surface the stress is on the first syllable there are just two syllables and the stress is on the first one so here we come to the end of pronunciation lesson for today it was quite a detailed pronunciation just like any other pronunciation lesson that i make for you i've already made a lot of pronunciation lessons for you in the past i'm going to put the link in the description box below so that you can find them out where i have discussed in details about syllable syllable stress which is necessary in order to improve your pronunciation once you get hang of the syllable and syllable stress then you will become natural at it you don't have to go and search for stress each and every time it's just about practice so when you will become comfortable with it when you will become natural with it then you don't have to even look for the word stress syllable stress you naturally most of the time you'll going to put it at the correct syllable the stress do not worry about it it's in the initial stages that we need to learn about it because most of the time people don't even know about the stress that there is a stress due to which the pronunciation goes wrong this the stress makes the pronunciation wrong wrong stress 
whenever you put a wrong stress somewhere. So this was the lesson for today. I hope that you liked it. You've learned a lot and you must have practiced with me. That was important for your fluency. That's it for today. Tomorrow is going to be day 7 and last day of these English class series with a book, with a story, while reading how you can improve your English, all aspects of your English. So I'm going to see you tomorrow sharp at 8 a.m. But before going, like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel if you're new here. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Till then, take care and bye.